Where they've been saying, wow, when they see <laughs> this fat cat. Looks like a big pillow here. Yeah. <laughs> Veterinarian Brittany Barton is the owner, and Skinny is actually down, was 41 pounds, mm -hmm. and now he's at, what, 34? Basically, yeah, just a touch okay, under 34. You're losing it. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Good job. And, and how are we doing this without starving the poor guy to death? Oh, you cannot starve cats. Yeah. That's the big difference between cats and dogs. With cats, if they take in less than 20, 75 percent of their normal daily intake for as long as a week, they'll go into liver failure. Yeah. So you have to work really, really hard to keep their nutrition very well balanced and keep them eating. So a dog then would be more like a person that can live off their reserves. Mm -hmm. Some of us obviously mm -hmm. have more reserves yeah. than others. But, <laughs> but, but with the cat, you gotta be very, very careful and, and, and measure and then not be tempted to sneak them food. Exactly. Oh, exactly. that's the hard part. Yeah, you gotta start to figure out ways to reward them that aren't food motivated. You gotta avoid the calories. So, so what do you? Do? It's kind of hard to see when you're looking at him from the camera. You're just seeing him for, front four. But mm -hmm. if you're looking at him from up up here, down, he's he's a wide one. Yeah. yeah, he is very very wide. He's about two traffic lanes wide. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a little something something back here. But uh, well, so what do you do? I mean, how do you get a cat to be active then? Well, with with any pet that's overweight, you want to really evaluate your five major things. First, make sure their body is healthy. Mm -hmm. Make sure they don't have diabetes. Make sure they don't have a thyroid condition. Okay. It's called Causing the weight gain. Um, beyond that, you start to really look at your nutrition. What are you going to feed them? A lot of the over-the-counter foods right now mm -hmm. that are said to be diet, said to be low calorie, sometimes aren't really what you think they really? are. So you need to double check the You need to double check and you need to work with your veterinarian. Find out what mm. they need to eat. Now there's nobody you can look at with skinny hair and blame anybody because we don't know who the previous owner was. Right. It was picked up and dropped off at, uh, at a shelter. Mm -hmm. Yep, he was brought into the Richardson Animal Shelter back in September with the uh, history that he was found in someone's backyard. Mm -hmm. So we can only speculate what happened and how he ended up getting to this size. And he's at your house now, right? He's at my house, yeah. <laughs> Yes, he's my big boy now. So there are, there are uh, with a dog, you'd go out in the yard and throw a ball. What the heck do you do with a cat? With a cat, it, you have to basically set up the environment so that it's making them move. His oh, kitchen nice. and bathroom are at one end. The family activities are at another end. He's a very social cat. That's we have a big, smart. long, ranch-style house, okay. so he has to walk that hallway a whole <laughs> bunch. And so just doing that is starting to really help the weight come off. I mean, eventually really? he'll get to a point where we can start to train him to maybe accept a treadmill or something along those lines, but I want to make sure we don't do anything fear-based. And obviously, and you, you've got the inside, you know, uh, inside track being a veterinarian, but when you're doing this with your cat, you really want to, or, or a dog for that matter, want to be in touch with your veterinarian yes. constantly. Yes, about what's going yes. On. We check like his blood. blood. Yeah. yeah, we check his blood at least once a month. Mm -hmm. I'm still monitoring him for the development of diabetes. I also monitor his liver because I need to make sure that he's not slipping into losing weight too fast mm -hmm. that could be dangerous for him. All right, we should let people know that you, you've written books about this, about yeah. adopting cats, and uh, you wrote a children's book about adopting pets called, was it Piper and Pickle? Piper and Pickle, and it's not cat based is more about a dog that I had oh, okay. when I was Just younger. Just adopting pets, period. About then, adopting which is, pets. Which is a good thing to yeah. do. We have a link to the book and also East Lake Veterinary Hospital on myfoxdfw.com. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for and having us. Skinny, come back soon. <laughs> Even skinnier. Oh, I'll show you how big he is. <laughs> there you go. You're a whopper. <laughs>